Storage Browser for Amazon S3 is an open source component that provides a simple user interface for data stored in S3. Authorized end users can easily browse files, create folders, and upload files from the same apps they use today. They can also download and delete data if needed. There are a few ways you can set this up for our application. The best way to do this for your entire workforce is to use Amazon S3 access grants with AWS IAM Identity Center with a trusted token issuer. With Identity Center, we can connect to a trusted token issuer like Microsoft Enter ID or Auth0. Then we can create a new customer managed application that will use this token issuer. Amazon S3 access grants help us control scalable access to our S3 buckets. This will connect to our IAM Identity Center to share external accounts by using the AWS Resource Access Manager console with S3. If you want to connect your customers or third-party partners to your data in S3, you can use Amazon Cognito as your identity provider to connect to your S3 bucket for your front end. This is the easiest way to get started with Storage Browser. You can set up Amazon Cognito using AWS Amplify Gen 2. Follow our manual installation guide and run npm create amplify at latest. Then add a new S3 bucket by defining a storage resource and adding in your authorization rules. For our front end, we have a JavaScript and UI React library to help set up the storage browser interface. I'll use the create storage browser API and pass in the region and account ID, as well as a credential provider. This provider gets the credentials we need from our IAM Identity Center and S3 Access Grants that we set up earlier. Let's add that storage component to our storage page. Now, if needed, the UI React Storage Library also has a default storage browser component you can add with no additional configuration. Let's open the app and sign in. In this demo, we're using Auth0 as our identity provider. After we log in, we'll go to the storage page you'll see it now shows our storage browser access grant bucket. Let's create a new folder called docs. And now let's see if we can access that folder and upload some files. We can also create some additional folders or even upload a whole folder itself. If we look in the S3 console, we can also see this new folder we just created. Storage browser is completely customizable. Let's add a new green color theme to the title and update the controls at the top by using the theme style component. To get started today, check out our AWS Amplify UI doc site. You can also check out the Amazon S3 doc site for more information on how to get everything set up.